We now know how to take in parameters, validate them, and how to install and upgrade a service. However, our current endpoints don't actually access the database. They simply just send a response. We can write some routes that do access collections in the database, but something that is sometimes a good idea to do first is make sure the collection actually exists before attempting to access it. We can do this by creating a setup script file, which I will place in the scripts folder. I will start with this file by declaring strict mode. Then we need to get access to the database. We can do this by requiring the DB module and I will assign it to a DB variable. Next, I want to access a collection named my fox collection, and I'll assign that to a variable named collection name. To check if this collection exists already, I'll do a simple if statement that uses the collection method of the DB module to attempt to access our desired collection. If it doesn't exist, the if block will run and we will use the create document collection method to create our desired collection. This is actually all I will do for now in this setup file, but you can use scripts to automate setup and teardown, but you can also use them for custom scripts to implement all sorts of tasks throughout the service. In order to make the service aware of this script, we must edit the manifest file. To register a script, you use the scripts object. And then within the scripts object, we use the setup attribute and tell it the location of our setup file. Now that we have a collection to access, let's create a route to access it. The route we will create will add an entry into the collection. We won't give it any big restrictions, it just needs to add an object to our collection. This will be our first post route, so we will use the post method with a path of slash entries. And our callback function, we start with assigning the request body to a data variable and then we create a meta variable where we will actually save to our collection. However, we don't actually have access to our database connection in our main service. Just like in the setup script, we need to import the DB module and connect to the collection, which we know definitely exists thanks to our setup file. First, import the DB module and then we'll create the connection to the My Fox collection. Back in the route, in order to save something to, to the collection, we can use the save method of the collection. If successful, our save method returns an object with the metadata, which is just the system attributes. Doing this allows us to assign these automatically generated attributes to a variable and send them back to the client after creation. We use object.assign to assign those attributes to the original data. Similar to using path parameters, because we are accessing the request body, we can add some validation for the expected data and a brief description. Using the joy module again, we simply say we are expecting an object and that it is also required. Since we are also returning an object in this route, our response method can actually have some validation to confirm that the response is an object and we can provide a description of it as well. I'm gonna go ahead and actually add the summary and description for our documentation as well.
Okay, now that we've got our route set up, let's go ahead and look at upgrading our servers to be able to test this out. Just like before, we go to our Getting Started service, Settings, Replace, Upload, Upload again, and we need to create our new zip file with our updated project. And we'll open that and replace and replace. Now we can go to our API documentation and try out our new route. I will just send an object with an underscore key value of key one. And then what I'll actually do is include a name variable with my name. Let's go ahead and execute. And there we go. We have the response body with our key, our name variable, and the automatically generated metadata. Furthermore, we can go and take a look at our collections and see that our My Fox collection actually exists and it does contain the document that we just inserted using our route.